Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and it is a surprising and amazing day today because I finally got my hands on one of the amazing cameras um, in the world, should I say in the world? So, I'm not sure if that is allowed. I got my hands on the GH5 Mark II or Mark 11, well, this one, one here, I don't know what it means but this is the GH5 Mark II and yeah, let's roll the intro. This is going to be more of 50% unboxing because firstly, I have already unboxed it. I mean, I had to see what is in there. You can't blame me. I I mean, it's it's. I, I had to be sure. So I already took out what the main, I mean, the elephant in the room. So you just see in a box here. But I'm still going to show you guys what you actually get once you open the box. Just a cable here and a bunch of booklets and some warranty books. I mean some chargers and batteries and that's basically it. it's just a bunch of papers and nothing really going on here so my apologies if you guys really wanted to see I mean an actual review I mean you shouldn't blame me yeah because I didn't actually buy this camera brand new this is a second hand slightly used clean camera somewhere there I had to found this myself so this video is not sponsored by Lumex Panasonic, it's sponsored by myself, proudly sponsored by my bank account and my pocket. So, um, whatever I say here is just based on my personal opinion, thoughts and experience that I've actually obtained currently now. It's about two years since the GH5 Mark II was released, but someone will be like, okay, but why is it holding it now? I totally get it, okay? They do not send me any items for review. None of any gear that I've reviewed on this channel has been sponsored anything any gear any equipment any gadgets you guys see on the channel i i bought it with my own funds so i don't always get money i mean the little that i have i need to save up and get a camera that i may need and this actually happened to come on the line and yeah i bought it so it's been two years it makes it cheaper obviously compared to the first when it came out i wasn't gonna be able to afford it so I just got my hands on the GH5 Mark II once again. First of all, it's going to be more of first impression. And I know I've actually hold the body and I'm basically going to tell you how I feel, what I think about the GH5 Mark II. Why is that? Big boy. And I don't know that I've owned a couple of cameras. in. The, you guys do know that I've actually been using the S1 recently. And it is a nice camera. It is a very beautiful camera. Having this in my hands feels a little bit different. But also it feels amazing to hold. Especially for someone who have been using Canon for ages. And recently switching into Lumex ecosystem. So first thing first. I think the first thing that actually blew me away. Like I'm like this guys the sensor like i don't know if you guys can see it like check how tiny that sensor is like guys i'm not sure if it's really visible but this sensor is pretty tiny yeah I, i've owned aps -E cameras i've owned full frame cameras i'm currently shooting on an aps -E camera aps -E crop sensors are small but when i hold this when i saw the sensor i'm like wait a minute that is very small so the sensor is pretty small and this is actually my first micro forted um camera this is my first i've never owned a micro forted camera before it's either a crop sensor or a full frame camera so this is actually something new to me i've never had my hands on any sort of gh series i mean it's i can say that it feels pretty good in the hell I'm, I'm not gonna lie it feels very nice when you're holding it i think if i'm to choose between the s1 and this one i'll probably go for this one because it's a bit lighter and it just feels good to hold like uh, it, it's just it, it's just nice like first of all you do get articulating screen which the s1 does not have i'm not here to compare both cameras but like i said um this is more of an experience from someone who have been using canon cameras lumex s1 and now holding this particular one so i think it feels pretty good in the hands and i love the fact that it's got i mean an articulating screen the s1 doesn't have that it's just that 
tilty thing and it sucks sometimes even though it's that's the job and it's a bigger screen than this but i feel like it's actually a problem sometimes because due to that i had to buy myself external monitors and all that but that's just out of the equation i pretty much love this and another thing that i love is the placement of the buttons like everything is like everything can be done with a single hand and it feels nice like <laughs> If I want to switch it on one hand, if I want to hit record button, one hand, like everything is just based on one hand. And it's also got this nice thing that the S1 actually had a button here, which you can actually set it as a record button or whatever that you prefer it to be. So I quite like it's It's more like a baby S1 or a baby S5. Yeah, not as specs wise, but body wise. And it's it actually feels good. So I like the fact that this is is I, I just like it i don't want to lie even though it's got a smaller sensor but i think we will dial more into specifications resolution wise in a bit not now i recently bought i mean lenses for it the micro four ted lenses and i got myself a speed booster which is still coming i think it's probably in on the ocean i'm not sure where it is. it's still coming so once i get my hands on the adapter and the lenses there will be a whole lot of videos that i'll be making with regards to this particular camera so if you like my crew cameras if you like my video you want to support like subscribe there are going to be a whole bunch of videos that I'll be making about Micro Four Ten. So I'm pretty much impressed with this particular camera, and it does have a whole lot of codec. Like a whole, it's more like the S1. You do get Cinema 4K, you do get Atlas 4K, 10 bit 422, like a whole bunch. And there's also Vlog, which is already installed here. You don't need to buy, even though it's a Vlog L. It still does an amazing job. I mean, it's there if you need it. And I went in the menu and I actually saw 6K in the menu system. I'm not sure if that is an actual resolution or it is photo 6K. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking that should be anamorphic 6K. But um, there's only one way to find out, which is to test it when I get my hands on my lenses. So um, once again, stay tuned. Once I get my hands on the lenses, I'll give you guys a whole lot of videos, sample footages and all that about this particular camera. Overall, it feels good. I think my only problem that I have with the body will have to be the EVF. It's just it's just popping up a little. Like it's just out. It's it looks weird. It looks funny, but I think that's not a big deal. It's just a little bit popping up here. And I actually didn't know that this camera does not have a flash. So yeah, it's not there. In case you are wondering, I think they actually geared this particular cameras towards video makers. So. That is something to consider if ever you want to get it doesn't mean it does not take photos it does but it's more of a filmmaker's camera than photographic camera i actually love this honestly there are a whole lot of things that i i can't even mention everything here you do have a full size hdmi microphone jack headphone jack all the jacks they are there another awesome part it uses two sd card slot which is very nice i mean i'm talking of sd card not xqd I do know that the S1 got the SQD and that is actually a problem because I have been using one slot since I wasn't able to afford the money for the SQD. So this coming in with two SD card slot. How do I even? Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks great. It feels good. And first micro ported camera. I can't even be happier than this. So yeah, if you guys have been in this ecosystem, let me know how it's treating you. Let me know what you think about this whole, I mean, cameras, this micro forted camera. I mean, it's new to me, man. But overall, it is an amazing camera. Like I said, stay tuned, subscribe, like all the video, do all the clickings, and I'll be posting more videos about this camera in general. So thank you very much for coming. This was just more of my first impression about the camera. And I'll see you guys when I post more videos on the channel. Sorry about my background noise, neighbors. Thank you for coming, guys. I'll see you in another video. Stay safe. Peace.